Time now for your need to know weather. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco. We've got rain chances building over the next few days. Today's rain chance at 60%. Some heavier rains tomorrow could lead to some street flooding concerns. So we have issued an ABC 13 weather watch. We'll be monitoring how our area handles the wet weather, those heavy downpours Friday, and some additional watches will be possible as we get into the holiday weekend as those storm chances remain elevated a 60 to 70 percent chance through the middle of next week. The flood risk concerns definitely the highest the closer you are to the coastline Brazoria Galveston County Chambers County uh, under the gun for a level two out of four flood risk and that's going to continue as I mentioned through the weekend. Right now rainfall projections along the coast anywhere between five to eight inches over the next seven days as you track further inland you can see those lower amounts when you get up toward Brenham and College Station those rainfall totals anywhere between one to three inches but this is our rainmaker here just sitting off the coast of southeast Texas and that's that is going to be pretty much in our vicinity over the next several days. So when we take a look at future track, the morning hours will slowly start to see some showers and storms pushing inland, but it's really the afternoon. You get the sea breeze going along with some daytime heat and there will be some slow movement of storms, storms that move over the same area, and that could lead to some higher rainfall rates along the coastline. Now, the storm threat continues into Friday and into the weekend. You can see those heavier amounts along the upper Texas coastline. A lot of uncertainty, though, lies where the area of low pressure tracks. The further to the east it tracks, we'll see some drier conditions, but the further west it tracks, we'll see some heavier downpours closer toward Houston. Houston. You can see by Friday evening, the majority of that heavy rain is pushing toward Louisiana versus staying over southeast Texas. Look for temperature readings this afternoon in the upper 80s to low 90s, but a few spots, especially east of I-45, may only warm into the lower 80s. So there's that area of low pressure. As I mentioned, the main rainmaker heading into the holiday weekend. It may not be until early next week until that front finally moves out of here, and then it does look like we could see some improvements in the weather forecast. So as we take a look at that next 10 days, those rain chances remain elevated. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then by next Thursday, we're down to a 40% chance of storms. By Friday, a 30% chance, and hopefully by the following weekend, we're drying out. It's going to keep the temperatures locked down below normal, though, in the upper 80s to low 90s for much of the next 10 days. All right, that's a look at your Thursday forecast. Thanks for watching.